Auto Industry Outlook for 2021. What's happening with new car sales and what's expected for 2021? Industry experts think we're seeing the beginning of a rebound. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homework Guy team. Another round of super high intensity training with an auto industry outlook is coming up for car buyers. If you like the Homework Guy videos and you want to sport some awesome swag like this here hoodie, well, check the merch shelf down below. You gotta love super high intensity training and we're full of it. We do appreciate your support. Economists from the University of Michigan are pointing to a solid rebound in new car sales in 2021 and beyond. Presented at the U of M's 68th Annual Economic Outlook Conference, economists are predicting a recovery in new car sales from the slump created by the pandemic this past year. Momentum seen in the fall and winter have created the push in new car markets to continue the upturn in 2021 and beyond. Maybe we'll see a return to 2019 levels soon. Just don't hold your breath for that to happen immediately. We also have some news on used cars, trade-in values, and auto loans right after this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first-timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers, and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at thehomeworkguy.com with a specific question, or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. Final estimates for new car sales this year are expected to finish around 14.5 million units. Quite a lot for a year that sputtered on many fronts. U.S. forecast specialists are expecting that to increase, saying that they predict new vehicle sales to climb to as high as 16.3 million units in 2021. Nearly a 12.5% increase or 1.8 million new car units over 2020. Other more reserved numbers out there say the growth will be a little closer to that 10% level, but either way, look for numbers to go up. For some comparison, new car sales were over 17 million in 2019 and have been at those levels for over five consecutive years. Given all the factors we think are still in play, numbers on those levels are unlikely to happen until at least 2022. Speaking of numbers, I'd love to sound like a genius prognosticator by predicting that the prices of new cars will also go up. But uh, anybody who hasn't been living under a rock would be on to me. New car prices always go up. Alas, the gig is up. Well, by the way, if you wondered why manufacturers shuttered those assembly lines and new car shipments went to a trickle in many areas of the country, well, if you want the prices of your goods to remain high when demand is low, well, don't make anything. The prices stayed high, the discounts stayed low, and it was a genius move if automakers wanted to keep charging those extraordinary prices for their cars. It worked. I do have an update on the used car boom we reported on earlier. It was largely created by the pandemic and budget-conscious car buyers just like you. But the used car boom seems to have finally lost some steam pushing trade-in values down and more in line with normal expectations this time of year. If you are hoping to get big bucks for your trade, given what has been going on in the used car market, maybe now isn't a great time to trade in that vehicle. Instead, that leaves a private party sale as a viable option for some of you. If that's you, make sure you check out the videos we have here on the channel for private party buying and selling. The big forecast increase for new car sales is interesting because GDP is actually expected to drop by over 3% in the early parts of 2021. Those two numbers going in opposite directions. Well, here's the thing. Many new car buyers tend to be north of 45 years of age, having achieved some financial security, having money in the bank, and they tend to buy what they want. They don't tend to pay much attention to new car depreciation factors, or they just think it's an acceptable price to pay for driving something brand new. Either way, because they have money and they are often somewhat insulated from economic fluctuations, a little bad economic news doesn't stop them from buying a new car. There are a few factors to keep an eye on. Number one, the second half of 2021 could see as much as a 4% gain in GDP. That would be a nice rebound from the spring. Number two, COVID-19 remains a forecast calculating problem. The truth is, all of us are making our very best guesses. 
even the Homer guy. Number three, supply chains that feed assembly plants in the U.S. are still vulnerable, which could impact what ultimately happens in the end with new car sales. If you don't have parts, well, you don't build cars. Number four, interest rates for auto loans are expected to stay low despite heavy federal spending. Number five, a surge in housing starts could boost car sales even more. It's been the case historically that when housing sees growth in any given area, new car sales seem to do pretty well too. And we are seeing increasing demand for new housing starts in many areas around the country. Number six, tightening emissions regulations in many global markets, particularly in China and Europe, will create some acceleration in the electric car markets. And number seven, automakers continue to invest in autonomous vehicles, the cars that drive themselves. We do expect the technology to continue to improve in advance, but with a number of social and economic factors involved, we think it will move a little bit slower in 2021. In the grand scheme of things, the average used car buyer wins out in the end when new car sales are good. Watch for great used car opportunities as new car buyers trade in a lot of one, two, and even three-year-old vehicles. You also see vehicles in that four to five-year range coming in, an ideal sweet spot with slowing depreciation and still a great vehicle by most measures. As always, do your homework. You're in the right spot to do that, as our return viewers know. The Homework Guide channel is home to many of the best videos on car buying and selling. Check them all out. You can also get yourself a super high-intensity training hoodie, if you'd like, to wear out on the lot while car shopping. Let those salesmen out there know that you're ready. By the way, if you missed a couple of our latest videos, there is some fantastic role play that are must-see for anyone car shopping. Make sure you check out No Means No, unless you're a car dealer and salesman or a finance officer. You know, they don't know the definition of the word no. And also, the pencil, the salesman tactic that fools car buyers in 20 seconds. Make sure you see them both. They're must-see videos for car buyers. If you enjoyed today's video, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Use hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and all the updates on our other social media sites and answer car buying questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks for the tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here on the screen, they'll be very easy to find in the description box below. But no problem if you can't do a tip. If you say thanks by sharing our videos with your family and friends, that's more than enough. And continue encouraging others to subscribe to the channel. That's huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer on the Homework Guy channel. We appreciate everything you do to help us out and get the word out and defeat those bad guys in the car business who still haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. Super high intensity training today was awesome stuff. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time. Take care, everyone.